hello everyone this is Kasim from PHP travels and in this video we will learn how we can add a new payment gateway to PHP travels so first of all you need to log in as an admin to your website make sure you are on local host not on the live environment and after logging to your admin panel move from settings to payment gateways and then we can find the option to add a new payment gateway over here click on add and on this page we need to add some credentials of the payment gateway along with the name of the payment gateway today I am integrating a local payment gateway from a Turkish company called POS from YKB so first of all we have to add the name of payment gateway so this is the name of the payment gateway set M pause and then we have to add some of the credentials like the credential one two three four which we are going to fetch in our code on the payment page so these are the credentials this payment gateway has only four credentials but maybe in your case there might be uh, less or more credentials after adding these credentials make sure you add a developer endpoint and production endpoint as well so I'm going to copy the developer endpoint most payment gateways come with two URLs for the testing and development in my case I have only one endpoint so I'm going to add the same endpoint for developer and the production and lastly we have the order you need to add the order number so that you can arrange your payment gateway and then click save and return so now we can see we have added successfully to our database the payment gateway credentials and the informations now we have to create a file in our system to fetch these credentials and move to payment page so now after adding a credentials to database we have to create a file in our payment gateways folder you can click on app and then from app controller and then payment gateways in payment gateways we need to create a new file and the new file name must be the same name of your payment gateway make sure all the alphabets are small existing any of the payment gateways files like we have stripe or paypal whatever the payment gateway uh, you see is easy for you to integrate with you can just copy the same payment gateway and then paste their files and then change the name of controller from here this is a must Yes, we have to uh, type the name of payment gateway in the controller gateway name and then remove this like some of the information from the existing payment gateway. We don't need to connect a stripe, but yes, we need some variables to pass with our new payment gateway. Like we need client email, we need booking numbers, we need credentials. Uh, we need price we need currency we need the success URL we need invoice URL uh, we need session ID we may need uh, the four credentials of the payment gateway C1, C2 and C3, C4 which we added to backend in database and that's it now we will add our payment gateway code here let's start from this one
so first of all we have to add the C1 over here which is our credential 1 and then this is the credential 2 and then we have credential 3 and then we have credential 4 so let's delete this let's keep the currency and yes we have currency we have the price but we have to change the price because in their price system we need to remove the dot or comma separated value it must be like this value so we have to change that letter for now let's keep using the static value so we can test and then we have credit card number expiry date and the CVC code number let's comment this code so that we can test the payment gateway is working fine let's bring the other required code to the payment gateway of course every payment gateway has their own structure it's not similar to everyone but at least you can like go through this video and understand how can you integrate your own payment gateway these credentials in php so that we can comment them like this So yes, this is our payment gateway code and this is the form that which requires for the payment. Now let's try to see what happens. Of course there must be some errors and we will resolve them. Let's make search for maybe hotels module. So that we can make a booking and get the invoice. So as you can see we have got the payment gateway in our payment options we have to add this um, image so that system recognize and shows the payment gateway option so let's search for the image of this payment gateway or maybe we can use the same uh, this one uh, this image and we need to add to this path under the gateways in assets gateways. So let's refresh our page and we are going to see the payment gateway image of this. Yes, we have received our payment gateway information here. Let me add some of the information for the booking. And let's select our payment gateway and make an invoice for the booking. So now we are done with the booking and we can see we have got our payment gateway here and this is the value in USD that system will proceed to pay on this payment gateway. Of course we have other payment gateways as well but this is the payment gateway we have added to our system. So let's proceed to make a payment and let's see what happens. So we can see that uh, our payment gateway has been implemented successfully. We can see the image of payment gateway, the amount and the currency and then uh, the pay button we can see here. Once you click on the pay button, you can see it has been loading and yes, our payment gateway has been successfully integrated. We can see the amount and uh, the username and some of the information like card which you uh, use can use the credentials of development. You can add your like the SMS and all the payment details it has been successfully redirected us to the payment gateway and once we make the payment it will redirect us back on the invoice with the status of paid so what you have to make sure is the success URL should be added correctly in your payment gateway whatever the payment gateway you use make sure that you are using the not the invoice URL because every payment gateway has two types of callbacks the URLs to redirect back to your website from the payment gateway 
if you make the successful payment then you have to use this success url this is what is going to update the invoice and then it's going to redirect the user to the invoice page which is this one let me take back to the invoice yes and it will show the user the payment has been done the default values you can get from any of the existing payment gateway like we have here you can get the price the currency the success url to redirect after the payment the invoice url if user is not proceeding with the payment and if you need the session id of the user like the invoice number and the information this is the base information which is required by any payment gateway and below after this route and after the params do not change those things you just need to rename the route this one and make sure it have included the params because these params are very necessary to integrate the payment and then you can after the line 17 you can add your payment gateways code because this payment gateway was little complex so it may has too much of coding otherwise uh, the normal payment gateways do not come with so much complication so you can integrate that very very easily so thank you so much for the watching in video and if there was any problem while the integration you can just contact us and submit support ticket and of course we will help you to get this fixed as soon as possible thank you so much